my name is Stefan. I am uh, Area Technical Support Manager from uh, Universal Robots. And Universal Robots is a, an, a Danish company that uh, started out seven years ago building uh, this robot. We spent three years developing the robots and sold the first one uh, four years ago. The robot is a six-axis robot intended for simple pick-and-place applications and we have tried to make the user interface very user-friendly and intuitive so a non-programmer is able to, uh, to make simple applications. This is our own developed software called Poliscope and for making a program you simply select program robot empty program on the left side you have the program structure which is uh, uh, tree based similar to Windows folders we have a graphics picture of the robot and you can slide this from side to side and watch it from any angle in structure you find the commands to insert into a program for example if you want to have a movement in the program insert a move go to command and here you can define the movement type which can be a joint movement, linear movement or process movement a waypoint is a position and you can set a waypoint by pressing here where you get access to the move screen in the move screen you can move one axis individually or you can move the robot in linear so you keep the same tool orientation so the axis will interpolate and make sure the tool is kept in the same orientation and then we have a quite unique feature which is a teach button so by pressing the teach button you simply take the robot in your hand and drag it to a position press ok for saving and now I save this point. And you can add another waypoint. I press set and I press the teeth. Grab the robot and move to the next position. Press OK. So now I have two waypoints in my program. If you go to graphics, you can see the waypoints and you can see the path that the robot will take. We have a full simulator. So you can simulate the entire program and verifying for collisions, some I.O. handling to other machinery and after ver verifying we stop the program, switch to real robot, press start, then you move the robot man first position, press OK and start. So within a few minutes you can make a very simple uh, program. Now you see uh, the robot is uh, currently running without any safeguarding because we monitor the load and each axis. So if I enter the working area and cause a collision, the robot will stop and I can demonstrate this here. It gives me a little bump, generates a security stop. You can enable and push the start and you're up running again. So but whenever you install a robot, you need to make a risk assessment. So depending on the end tooling, depending on the speed of the robot, and depending on the path of the robot, you can take these things into consideration when making the risk assessment so it's possible to uh, run without safeguarding.